How much money do you make? Uh, I'm not f answering that, bro. I'm currently unemployed. I'm in university. Bad cop, honey, grand. I make about 900 a month. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about 45,000. Um, I just got a full-time job as a host, so just like minimum wage. Oh. I'm a co-op student. You're a co-op student. So it's not a ton. It's not a lot. Well, how much? Ah, that's what I have to talk about. Welcome to the first episode of the Six Feet Apart podcast. We're at Dundas Square. We got to get some strangers on here. You want to have a seat? Come on, have a seat. Grab a seat. What's your name? My name's Rain. Rain, do you think that it's bad advice to tell people to chase their dreams? No, I don't think it's a bad idea because if you stop believing... It's like, what's the point? What's, what's the point of all of this if there's nothing to work forward to? What do you do? I study computer programming analysis. Why do you study computer programming analysis? Because my parents asked me to. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Yo, Angela. That's a new man. What's cheating on me, yo. What? She's cheating on me. What? Caught. You're cheating on him? Life on camera. Yo. Look at this man. He's gorgeous. How could you be cheating on him? Why are you cheating on me, yo? Why are you cheating on me? Why are you cheating on me? <laughs> How much would I have to pay you to punch him in the face? Not much. <laughs> hey, if you guys, if you split it with me, you can do it for, for uh, a decent amount. But, but in a friendly way. In a friendly way. No, I mean like knock him out. Knock him out. That's a little bit aggressive. I want to hear the number. Um, I don't know. That's, uh, I, okay. Name your price. Actually, probably $500, but I could like, I could like, you could be like, I knocked you out, but you can't knock me back out. Like, you, like we can split the money or something. I'll, I'll do like 500. Yeah, I'll, I'll be under, I'd understand the worst. Yeah. I get that. I yeah. agree with that. <laughs> What's your name, brother? Willie from Philly. <laughs> Willie from Philly. I'm American, man. What's your name? Young Doro. Young Doro. <laughs> Would you do a little dance for us right now? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I, I do want it to. All right, sick. There's no music, though, right? What about that? Wow, okay. <laughs> Willie from <laughs> Philly. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that body control is crazy. Oh! Hey! What made you come to Canada? A girl. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? My name is Sue. Oh well, yeah, it's a girl. I met a girl and I'm in the States in Philly. And I was going back and forth from Toronto to Philly for four years and she asked me to stay. Shit. Yeah. Why'd you stay? Because I got a girl here. And she told me, won't you stay? And I stayed and I hated here. What's your name? I'm Sean. Is there a book you can recommend? It was this book by Shad Homesteader, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. Interesting. Has that book helped you at all? Absolutely. What's the biggest thing that you took away from that book? I hate it here. You're the product of your environment, right? That's a very popular saying. And that kind of tells you that people who you talk to have an influence on the way you think and how you function. But the person you talk to the most is yourself. I've talked to myself in front of the mirror once, like literally had a conversation with myself. It was trippy. But what got you into do, doing that? Curiosity. I'm a very open-minded and curious person. But you must have read about this somewhere, right? You, no. You just, that was all me. You, so you just looked at the mirror and like, hey. And then I was like, oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> and then I was like, not much. What's up with you? Oh, and then I went, oh, shit, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> and, yep. And you went again, again like, like, oh, yeah, damn yeah, right you are. <laughs> yeah, we are talking to ourselves. Isn't this crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I hate it here. What's your name? JD. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. You too, bro. Why is it called Six Feet Apart Podcast? Because I think the world is slowly getting more and more distance from each other. We're getting more and more disconnected. And I want it to be a play on words because we're not six feet apart. In order to have a real conversation, yeah. you got to be next to somebody. Facts. Do you have any advice for people that want to network? Be chill. Be cool. And then cool people will come to you. Do you think that I'm cool? Yeah, sure. Why not? You gotta I appreciate that. That's dope, yeah. I appreciate that. Do you think it's bad advice to tell people to pursue their dreams? No, that's good advice, I feel like. Why? <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're trying not to make you uncomfortable. No, I'm cool. He's cool. His name's JD. He was on here before you, and then he's now he's creeping around, probably because you're pretty. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding, JD. I love you, bro. But you can't lie. Look at her. And her name's Angel. 
<laughs> what was the last job that you had? I worked as a cashier at a marina in Muskoka, Ontario. Okay. So I was around the water a lot, boats. They wouldn't let the girls pump the gas for the boats. They were kind of sexist. My boss was, I don't know, so weird. I don't think how a girl can't pump gas, like, for a boat. Apparently girls can't pump Apparently, gas. Yeah, for, yeah. They can't drive either. It's not a, we're, we're not allowed anymore, so. Do you think that money's the root of all evil? Um, not necessarily, because you can do good things with money and, like, help other people, and you can, like, I don't, like, they say money can't buy happiness, but, like, it kind of can, because if you're, like, going on trips and, like, living life, you're happy, and that's because of money, so. Do you think that people who say money can't buy happiness just don't make enough money? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Do you think it's wrong to tell people to pursue their dreams? No. Why? Because what the fuck else is there to do? You know, go to school, get a job, get a wife, get a house, have a family, do all that boring shit. First of all, fuck school. Second of all, do whatever you want. Without education or school, how do you, how do you learn shit? The internet, bro. How can I learn shit on the internet? <laughs> Google. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's your name? My name is Luca. Do you think that money is the root of all evil? No. Did you have to get interviewed for your job? Yes, I did. Do you have any advice for people out there who are getting interviewed and really want, like if they really want to get a job, what's the one biggest piece of advice you could give them? During like an interview? Yeah. 100% oh. confidence. Hey. <laughs> we got Luca's friend. Marco. Your name is Marco? Yes. Do you think that a lot of people nowadays, they put on some sort of an act or a mask instead of actually being themselves? Actually, I have seen a little bit of it. Uh, people definitely force it out, but um, when you force it, it's almost like fake it till you make it. Like you force it, you get comfortable with that forced image and then you become it. Um, so that's something that I was personally doing. I would like try to force myself to be like super, super outgoing, whatever, even though like, I don't know, prior to I don't know, three years ago, I would have been considered like an introvert. Um, so trying to get myself extroverted, forcing myself to be more confident than what I am, and then embodying that image once I actually feel comfortable doing that. So faking it till you're making it, as I would say. Is Literally everyone. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel lonely? Yeah, well, Canadians are not friendly in Toronto. So I would You think I'm not friendly? Just because I met you and you said hi to me, we were going to date or something, I just said... I'll take you out. You know what I'm saying? I hope you would. I'm just saying, in general, in general, Canadians are very standoffish and cold. They're not like Americans, like really friendly, like, hello, good morning, hi, smiley, just... I say hi. You see all these zombies? The bots. You see all these walk, the walking dead? We call them bots. Yeah, that's what they are, yeah. So, it, it is a little lonely because I have no family, then I have no friends. I hate it here. All right, I appreciate it. Yo, sir, would you like to have a seat on my podcast? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What's your name, brother? Joshua. Joshua, where are you from? The United States. Where from the United States? Maryland. What are you doing here in Toronto? Uh, again, it's my birthday. I, I, I was always like, well, one thing I can tell you, Toronto's the greatest city probably in, in, in North America. Um, so to be able to experience it for the first time and see all this, the stuff I've seen so far, it's been pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. What's your name? My name's Josh. Josh? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, I'm a bartender. Do you like what you do? Uh, it's okay. You get girls, right? I have a very loving, loyal girlfriend of almost eight years. He doesn't get girls. I get the, the, I He's very loyal. I got the one gina, guys. The one gina. Yeah. If money is the root of all evil and I want you to do something that you can't that you don't want to do, what's the solution? How can I motivate you without money? That's a good question. To do something I don't want to do, how could you motivate somebody? Damn. I can't think of a secondary. What about women? And put I want to say yes, but that shouldn't be the answer. <laughs> but, but that is the answer. That is the answer. But it's true, right? As a man, like, put, has power over you. <laughs> to a certain extent, yes. I can admit it. It has, put, it has power over okay, me. All right, I admit it, yes. All right, all right. See, at least we're real to each other. <laughs> it's easier if you admitted it first. So yes, I'll agree. How long have you been a bartender? Uh, 10 years or so. What kind of drew you to becoming a bartender? And what kind of skills did you need to learn to like do it successfully? Uh, probably probably put initially, maybe, uh, <laughs> to throw back to your question. Um, 
But uh, I'm also a raging alcoholic. Uh, I enjoy drinking, so typically, you know, most pedophiles are teachers, so, you know. <laughs> Hi, my name's Blank, I'm an alcoholic. I'm Josh, and so am I. Yeah. And so is he, probably. Oh my yeah. god. Do you think about money, like how much your food costs when you buy it? Or do you just buy it? Every time I put the fucking credit card in, I am like praying to God and hoping it goes through. Every time I'm like, see. Do you think that money is the root of all evil? No. Abs no, I don't. I okay. disagree with that. Um, I think, of course, it could lead to evil and power. We had a conversation about this the other day, too. It could lead to power and kind of like a stat status and like using it in the wrong way but I definitely think that there's so many ways that you can use money in a good way and like you said I guess like being a provider and kind of like being able to like provide for your family like food shelter whatever that is like the business that's the of life like you kind of need money and it definitely takes away from the stress if you're like not worried about paying rent all the time yeah it gives you peace of mind makes you a high value man makes you attractive approachable <laughs> right well I do agree that, yes, it definitely, um, I, I think definitely if you're a man who's making a lot more money, women would see you as somebody who you could, they could seem almost like starting a family with because they have confidence that you can provide for your family and for your kids. 100%. It also opens up doors, gives opportunities. Yes, I believe so. Is networking important in your job? Very, very important. What is the biggest advice you can give to people out there that want to get better at networking or expand their network? I would say you have to kind of approach people um, the same. So one of, the, one of the things that my company does is they kind of just put you um, in rooms full of directors, executives, all that. And you, you don't really know who's who. So you just have to walk up to people, talk to them. And through that conversation, you see, oh, that's like some VP of, of the company. And like, um, you shouldn't be scared to talk to them. And you can actually learn a lot from, from those people. What do you do? Uh, I'm a dancer, man, professional dancer. Like hip hop? Hip hop, I teach classes, I dance on the streets. A stripper, dance with the mills and shit. You know what I mean? Sling a dang with that big thing and boom. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the full uncut versions of all of the episodes, you can always check them out on Patreon at Six Feet Apart Podcast. I hate it here.